Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Bob. Bob. Hi, Lou. Bob Klein. Bob Klein. Let me grab the camera as I usually do. Bob, let's uh, take a look. Stab here back with me. And what do you have here today? I've got a 1973 442, one of 95 made with a 455 and a four speed. A 455 in 1973 in the middle of the gas crunch. Absolutely, that's why they're quite rare. And you can see this car has been the same since 1973. It's, it hasn't been restored, it's all original. Yes, uh, it wears about 60% of the original paint. The doors forward is uh, all original. Uh, complete numbers match car. I have the window sticker for it. I've known the car since it's brand new, not personally, but I know it's history since brand new, and uh, it's been well cared for, uh, obviously. <laughs> yeah, well, let's move back and get a total overall picture of this car. It's got the neat hood with the little hood dents in it, making it a little bit unique. I'm going to keep moving back. Right? There yep. we go. Yep. And that'll give picture. You don't. You just don't see 73 442s. No, certainly not. It's uh, either you love them or you hate them. And this was the last year offered with a big black and a four-speed. Well, that that's the. You know, th this was a time in '73 that that there was the gas crunch going on, and they and automakers were saying we are not building any more big blocks. They're just stopping doing that. The end of this was kind of the end of the muscle car. Absolutely. So to have a a 455 in here is really really unique. Well, the, the beauty of these cars, in my opinion, is the uh, they ride like the newer version Cutlass because it is, uh, or 442. They're very comfortable, mm -hmm. but it has the power of the vintage ones. I like the, I like the little bumper guard here and the taillight. Right. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. You were saying. Yeah, it's uh, they're just Let's it's a it's a fun car, just a real fun car. Let's open the door. Sure. Long door. Yep. Uh, this one's a low option car. It basically is. Uh, uh, Air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, the rally wheels. Ashtray for the back seat. Cool. Absolutely, yeah. yeah and back uh, to people smoke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna first of all before we, I'm gonna jump on the inside just to take some of the detail on the gauges and things. And it's, uh, you, again, you can see the four speed. So you got the. Yeah, pretty sparse, pretty sparse as uh, far as options. But the 442 was the top of the line, and, and it has a. Uh, it's got the cassette player there, obviously all original. Well, no, actually that one's not. They, oh, really? They didn't have cassette until uh, 77, I believe. Okay. Um, this so you... car could have had an 8-track. Okay, all right. This one actually, by the window sticker, came with an AM radio. And when I bought it, it had the cassette player in it. And that remains. That will remain. <laughs> all right. And it's got the, uh, it's got a nice console up the center. I kind of show that from there. And wonderful seating up here. Bob, there's kind of a unique feature. Show me what happens with the seats. Well, let me show you. 1973 to 1977, uh, in the Cutlass S and other models, they had uh, swing away suite seats. That's pretty cool. Yep. The, the swing away seat. Right. All right, that is. Right. A swivel cool. buckets is what they're known as. Swivel buckets. All right, Correct. let's put the seat back to, I guess, its original position. Standard position, sure. Standard position, okay. Let's take a look under the hood. All righty. Let me just grab this one. You can see the overspray, like I said, the, rear, so cool. the rear clip on the roof has been painted. Doors forward is original. Yeah. I'm going to shut that. And we've got the all stock 455 under there. Yep. From 1973. Yep, the only thing wrong with the car that I can mention is the fan clutches, or the compressor clutch is bad, thus the belt is missing. That's okay. It's this all is 73, a lot of times you took that off just so you can get the thing to go down the road. <laughs> so you can get more than six miles per gallon. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Let's close the hood. Alrighty. <laughs> Bob, stand right next to your car. Next to it? Yep. Bob, thanks for being on My Car Story. Alright, thank you, Lou.